Sick installation. Okay, so the battery died. Anyway. Oh, so it's a beast. So I made these brackets, I told you. This is more of that stainless steel uh, pipe. Uh, didn't have time to paint all of it because the straight sections uh, just showed up yesterday. And it goes... Uh, up through there into there and then back through this tube out to the back so you don't have to listen to it all day just change tools to tool number 15 oh my gosh this is so awesome i don't know i'm not gonna get over this anytime soon such a huge monster This is gonna be the first job. It's been all, a whole week. I haven't done an, a single job. I really wanted to finish all of this stuff because if I didn't do it right away, I wouldn't have. And everything's immaculate. So we had these made, but something went wrong. These holes need to be moved outwards. So we're gonna make slots out of these holes instead. That means I can use my touch probe indicate these two holes thereby finding the center and the orientation of this thing oh this is gonna be somewhat scary since it's my first time but wish me luck i'll i'll, I'll try to make a video of it okay let's see if i can show you this touch probe confirm and when i press that this guy shows up and now we can measure Oh, it's so awesome. It's so luxurious. This is a whole new world for me. So you make these. So this is the drawing of that. And you put in these markers. You select, right click on a, on a, on a contour, this hole. In, insert a, a marker and a marker there. And then you just go ahead and probe those two and bind the, the result to these markers. That way, PC cam knows the location of it, the orientation, and everything's just ready to go. Pristine. I don't know if I showed you this, but there's these buttons for pop-up pins. Let's see where those. Bam. Then there's the vacuum. And this first section turns red to indicate which zone is open and closed. They asked me if I wanted to have this as a indicator light for 
running a program program or if it's finished if i uh, hold on to the release vacuum button it's actually blowing air out of those ports. that makes it so the vacuum releases instantly instead of taking a couple of seconds also it blows air through the hdf so a heavy aluminum piece could actually be moved quite easily while the air is coming out of there what what i didn't even say that i wanted that that's just a standard feature i didn't even know about it until now well a week ago it's insane completely insane vacuum control ripping awesome LEDs indicating vacuum zones on and off. Vacuum pumps are on a timer. So they're gonna keep running for five minutes or so, just so they don't experience too many starts and stops. And another crazy thing is just the noise. I mean, I can have a normal conversation here basically and the pumps are over there two of them they're way quieter than i thought they would be i'm not sure how the sounds picking up in in the phone here oh that's so fucking beautiful sound really fades away when you're over here at the control oh it's, oh, it's, oh, it's so good oh. anyway saturday we're going to some friends for dinner so peace